Hello, good morning. A video in English for uh, the Americans, for the American believers out there. Who, uh, if you saw my video about Proverbs 15, which is the last video on the Spanish list uh, to date, you'll see uh, that it's about uh, grievous words and anger. And um, the Bible is very clear about not befriending an angry man lest you learn his ways. And uh, yes. Those are things that uh, people with anger uh, tendencies need to uh, need to search out. That said, what do you need to search out? Is it anything or is it nothing? Everybody's very familiar with the verse in Second Chronicles 14. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land. Humble themselves. Are you humble? Are you? I don't think you are. I really don't. And uh, so the Lord has thrown three. I got validated last night in a small way that wouldn't be worth repeating. But uh, I, it was good to be validated by God. And uh, it was from God, so it was not, very, not really truly small. And I woke up early today um, and then kind of rapid fire, uh, I got some verses, the Lord just kind of throw, threw these at me, so I'm compelled to make this video in English. This is for you. This is for the American believers out there, and all the people who think that they are, uh, that they are humble, who think that, that they uh, aren't sitting on a high horse of Whatever it may be, maybe they're culturally validated for whatever reason. Maybe they're overpaid for stuff that is simply paid that much. People down here don't make any kind of money. Uh, professional people make make a fraction of what anybody up the United States makes. Uh, there's a natural pride that goes with the place. So, according to Second Chronicles, I think the first thing on the list was humble yourself. I know that I've been delivered from much. I've been through these things before, and uh, this is why I'm saying this. I'm not saying this from on high. I'm saying this from, some, from the perspective of someone who's been there. And really fought hard for it, too. Uh, turned my hair out. to the you know, humil Humbled to the point of insane madness. Humbled. Being humbled. And, and you have to... And, and when it's, if it's super simple to you, I would like to suggest that maybe it's not that difficult and that maybe it's not true humility that's being but maybe it needs to be difficult maybe it needs to be a little bit of a fight maybe it needs to be a downright serious fight James 4 6 but he giveth more grace wherefore he saith God resisteth the proud but giveth grace to the humble Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted, and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. It doesn't sound like a party. And I'll tell you from experience, it's not. Jonah 2, which is actually in Spanish, a couple videos back on the Spanish list. I might put this on the Spanish list, though it's not in Spanish, but it's biblical. So You can read Jonah 2 on your own, but verse 8 says, They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. mercy. Lying vanities, I don't know, where is your holiness, where does your righteousness come from? Are you comfortable? Have you been getting paid? Do you see somebody like me as, do I offend you? Be careful. The Lord is gracious. Uh, Psalm 145, I'm going to skip around in Psalm 145. The window happens to be open uh, starting on verse 7. Verse 8 says, The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger, and of great mercy. Down to verse 18, The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. 
19. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. If you're concerned about this, the uh, situation going on with the president, uh, and you should be, that's one of the reasons I left, and I believe God delivered me from being down there because I think that there's actually very little hope. Uh, I don't think that the Christians are humble down up there. I really don't. I, I, there's a humility down here that is built into the culture. And I think it's got a lot to do with the fact that it's uh, what, what you all would consider a poor nation. And, and I met a guy the other day who, when I was walking down the street, he, I was filming, I was just filming the walk, and he just looks at me with the eyes that were redder than hellfire, and he says to me point blank, that's a nice camera. And it was just, it was very, very much like, you know, he just basically announced his desire to rip me off. He was basically going to rob me, is what he wanted to do. I mean, you know, and I, I know where I am. I'm not on, you know, I'm not walking through this area at midnight. Um, it's not a great surprise, not something I'm not expecting. And uh, I gave him a chick tract, and we just, I just struck up a conversation with him. And it came, it, it came up, and he said, uh, we were talking about, you know, I, my lifestyle came up a little bit, living in a van for 15 years, uh, for, not for choice, by choice, but to get work done. And since there is no viable way to make any living in what I do, and you all tend to think that that's somehow something that, you, I get a lot of advice from the English-speaking world. But nobody listens to me. A poor man's wisdom is despised, whatever that verse is. I came down here because I'm tired of being ignored. And I, pref I these people are grateful. They're grateful people. There's a lot of hostility toward me here. There is. It's not as much as there is in the U.S. But it's not, this isn't Willy Wonka land. It's not Disney World. But these people are grateful for what they have. Extremely. In ways that you simply don't see in the English-speaking world. It doesn't exist. Maybe in small communities. Perhaps Hispanic communities, maybe. I wouldn't know, you know, even though I've actually been among that to a little bit, but not truly, not in it. Anyway, this thief, he... We were talking about why I was... And I explained some of this. to The guy spoke pretty good English. I tried to speak Spanish with him, but he was uh, wanted to speak English. So, whatever. He spent 10, 15 years in Vegas, so he spoke English pretty well. And he asked me what... But he was a Mexican, and he asked me what the problem is with the people up there. And I said, they don't have any problems. I said, they only think they do. They have to make up their problems. And he brightened as though, like, somebody had said something that he already thought. And it's like, he didn't think that I would think that, because I'm an obvious American, or at least a gringo. I could be from the UK or New Zealand or something, but, you know, I'm an, it's obvious that I'm a gringo. And he would not expect to hear that from me. And he brightened when I said, yeah, no, they don't have any problems up there. They have to make up their problems. They have no idea what they're talking about. They're the most ungrateful people I've ever seen in my life. And, and, I, and, and I, I can't stand it. I don't respect it. And it makes me angry. And I'm, I didn't say get into it. I actually probably did say that. I don't remember. But I, I, I've said it in, 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 in my last video in, in, in Spanish. Um, I, was, I wanted to make a Spanish video entirely, speaking entirely in Spanish. But I don't have a Spanish audience. I don't have any friends, per se, really. You know, I've befriended somewhat to a degree a handful of people, but they're not really friends. They're friendly. I don't know anybody. I don't hang out with people. Um, I'm not down here for that. I'm down here to get away from the Titanic. What you all considered uh, rejection and isolation, uh, it, it was, and then I've been in, in a very, I'm not going to get into it, but a very long process of exile and isolation that has, I've been through these things with the Lord, and the Lord has delivered me from much, and me being angry at the United States is a sin, even I can, though I can explain it and justify it. So what I need to do is just start throwing Bible verses at you, because that's what works for me, and that's what worked on me. Am I complete yet? No. Am I a work in progress? Of course. Aren't you? Or have you figured it out? Do you, are you still going to church? Are you still going to the 501c3 government building that listens to everything that the government tells it to do? Are you still doing that in 2020? I've been into a church. I've never fit in in my life at a single church, except for the uh, First Baptist Church of Hollywood 15 plus years ago. And that's the only church in my life I've ever felt, the, felt compelled to actually join. Are, are, are you, are you, do you still believe 
in the sanctioned assembling of yourselves together? Do you need to lose your economic base? Do you need Joe Biden to become the president to wake up? Do you need that? God forbid. I'm serious. So this is what this is about. You know, how long is this video? I'm not quite sure. Ten minutes? Yeah, it's too long. It's not what I wanted. I could talk for probably six hours. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. Psalm 145, 18. You're being warned, all right? You're not humble. You need to humble yourselves. You need to humble yourselves, all right? I don't know anybody up there who, isn't, who needs, does not need to be humbled. And, and what, the one that really struck me was James 4. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. All right? Because I don't think that your joy is based on your salvation. I really don't. And I could be wrong. I could be. But the culture is, is, uh, needs to repent. The, the people up there, it's, it's Jonah too. It's a Jonah situation. I, Jonah didn't want to talk to the Ninevites. He had a problem with them, right? I have a similar situation with the United States. And I don't, have any, I don't hate the United States. I'm tired of it. It bores me. I'm tired of listening to it preached down to me from on high about its economic prowess. You know, I'm a coal canary in the coal mine. Do you need to lose your livelihood too before you listen to people? Is a poor man's wisdom despised? Do you need to learn that lesson the hard way? Do you need to learn how important your opinion is not? Do you need to actually be living on the side of the road in a state of legal compromise for 15 years? To actually be humbled? Because I did. I did. That's how arrogant I am, or have been. Don't fall into that trap. God bless you. Thanks for listening. <laughs> my battery is dying in my remote. <laughs> James 4, 16, but now ye rejoice in your boastings, all such rejoicing is evil. Thanks for listening.